Hi, my name is Paula Collins from the Glades Road Branch Library. The book that I chose to read today is Bless the Beasts and the Children by Glendon Swarthout. The reasons given according to the American Library Association website for this book being challenged or banned is social content and animal cruelty. He engaged low gear an inch toward the herd. The animals stopped grazing. Heads swung, then they turned, the bulls first, to see and smell and classify. Perhaps they disbelieved what they saw. Through the darkness toward them crept a monster. On its back, it carried its young, a freight of white-faced whippersnappers. One gripped a stick of steel and wood, another held by a horn, the noble bust of a king of their own kind. For their part, the closer they came, the less the bedwetters believed what they were doing, entering a herd of monsters whose mood and power no man could assess. Of their own free will, foolish, they were laying life and limb on the line. Hood and bumper of the Judas truck intruded. The animals made way. The herd parted. In the middle, Teft heard a tap on the window at his back. He braked and shoved the gear shift into neutral. There was no sound except the panting of the exhaust, the random click of hoof on pebble. The buffalo drew near. Then buffalo surrounded the truck, bulls and cows, fierce horns and shaggy beards, and great humps near enough to touch. Cotton, Shecker, Goodnow, Lally One and Two, sat on their bales like rigid digits. No one dared bat an eye or scratch an itch. They were truly frightened. Beasts and boys considered each other. They smelled each other. And suddenly boys of 15, 14, and 12 were children once more. The breath of innocent animals blessed them. An emotion filled them, a tenderness that none of them had ever known. Peace descended on them and they were not afraid. For a moment, or moments, is it, it was as it had been in the beginning, before fear, before evil, before death, at the time of the creation, when the earth was new and living things flourished therein, when the earth was fair and all living things dwelt together as kindred. For a moment, of, or moments, beast and children were friends, there in the sweetness and silence of the night, there in the calm and lovely fields of the Lord. Hello, Buffalo. So the excerpt that I read is from Bless the Beasts and the Children by Glendon Swarthout.